If you're here, chances are Roblox just refuses to open or won't let you join games. Maybe you're stuck on the loading screen. Maybe nothing happens when you click play, or maybe you keep getting errors. Don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to walk you through the most effective fixes for the can't join Roblox games bug. By the end, you'll know exactly what to do to get Roblox running smoothly again. Check if your Roblox account is banned. Roblox may suspend your account for a certain time and restrict your access to games if you violate its community standards. If this happens, you'll usually see a message that says banned for X days, where X is the number of days. In that case, you will have to wait until the ban period is over. You can also contact Roblox if you believe the decision was unfair. Check Roblox server status. Server related issues can sometimes prevent you from joining certain Roblox games on your computer or mobile. Visit Roblox's service status page to check if there's a server outage. Number one, check allowed experiences settings for your account. Roblox allows parents to manage their children's accounts and restrict their access to games that may be inappropriate. If you can't join or play specific Roblox games, you need to first review these settings and make sure they are configured correctly. Step one, open Roblox on your computer or head to Roblox's website. Click the three horizontal dots on the left sidebar and select settings. Step two, click on privacy. Step three, turn off the toggle next to account restrictions are enabled. Step four, click the parental controls tab in the left pane. Under the allowed experiences section, select the appropriate age guideline. Select all ages, suitable for everyone if you are an adult. Note, if your Roblox account is under parental control, you will need to ask your parent to enter their PIN to make changes to your account. Number two, correct date and time. Setting your computer or phone to an incorrect date or time can cause Roblox games to get stuck on the joining server screen. To avoid such issues, it's best to enable the automatic date and time feature on your computer. Step one, press the Windows key, plus iKeyboard shortcut to open the settings app. Navigate to the Time Language tab and click on Date Time. Step 2. Turn on the toggle next to Set Time automatically. Enable Automatic Date and Time on Mac. Step 1. Click the Time Indicator on the top right of the menu bar and select Open Date Time Preferences. Step 2. Under Date Time, tick the Set Date and Time Automatically checkbox. Then, use the drop-down menu to select the preferred time server. Similarly, you can fix the wrong date or time on your Android or iPhone as well. After that, you can join and play Roblox games as before. Number three, clear Roblox cache. Another reason why you may be unable to play games on Roblox is due to outdated or corrupted cache data. If that's the case, clearing the Roblox app cache on your device should fix the problem. Step one, press the Windows key, plus this, our keyboard shortcut to open the Run dialog box. Type Local App Data Temp in the open field and press Enter. Step two. In the File Explorer window that opens, select the Roblox folder and click the trash icon at the top to delete it. On a MacBook, step one, press the Shift plus Command. Plus G keyboard shortcut, type in Library Caches and press Enter. Step two, select the commenter's Roblox. Roblox folder and press the delete key. On Android, step one, long press on the Roblox app icon on your phone and tap the info icon from the resulting menu. Step two, go to storage and tap the clear cache option. Number four, reinstall Roblox or try another browser. If you can't join and play your favorite Roblox games even after clearing the cache, you can try reinstalling Roblox on your device. This will help remove any problematic app data and update the app to its most recent version. If you are having trouble joining Roblox from a browser, try using another browser. If this solves your problem, one of your extensions or corrupted cache and cookies data on your previous browser should solve the problem. Number five, game specific and platform related issues. Not every problem that prevents you from joining Roblox is tied to your account or internet. Sometimes the issue lies with individual games or the platform itself. Roblox is built on user-created experiences, 
which means that each game runs its own scripts, settings, and configurations. If a developer introduces a bug or fails to update their game after a Roblox update, players may encounter problems loading into that particular game while others continue to work fine. This is why one of the first things to check is whether the issue happens in every game or just one. If it is limited to a single game, the problem is almost certainly on the developer's side. In such cases, players may have to wait until the creator fixes the bug, as there is little they can do themselves. Another common obstacle comes from overloaded servers in popular games. When thousands of players attempt to join the same experience at once, the game's capacity may be exceeded. Roblox automatically prevents more players from entering, resulting in failed connection attempts. This doesn't mean Roblox as a whole is broken. It simply means the specific server or instance of the game is full. Sometimes developers add more server capacity, but often players just need to wait until spots free up. Understanding this helps to reduce frustration, since the problem has nothing to do with your own setup. There are also cases where updates on Roblox's side temporarily create compatibility problems. The platform evolves constantly, and after major updates, some games may stop working until developers adjust their code. During these times, you may find yourself unable to join games you previously played without issue. Keeping an eye on update logs, Roblox announcements, or community forums can provide clues when this type of disruption is the cause. Regional restrictions can also play a role. Roblox is available globally, but certain experiences or content may be limited based on location. Licensing, regulations, or developer choices sometimes mean that players in one country cannot access a game available in another. If you cannot join a specific game, while others can, this may be the explanation. While not as common as technical errors, it is a reminder that Roblox is influenced by external rules beyond the platform itself. Finally, device compatibility affects access. Some older devices may struggle with certain games, especially those that use advanced graphics or heavy scripting. If a game is too demanding for your hardware, Roblox may fail to load it or disconnect during attempts. Upgrading hardware is one option, but players can also test less resource-intensive games to confirm whether the issue is performance-related. This highlights how Roblox, while designed to be lightweight, still depends on a minimum level of device capability to run smoothly. Number 6. User Environment and External Conflicts Outside of Roblox itself, a variety of external factors can prevent you from joining games. One overlooked area is background software running on your device. Applications that consume a large amount of bandwidth, such as video streaming or large downloads, can compete with Roblox for network resources. Even if your connection is normally stable, heavy background usage can block Roblox from establishing the smooth communication it requires. Closing unnecessary applications often resolves hidden network congestion. Another source of conflict comes from browser extensions or third-party overlays. Some ad blockers, privacy tools, or screen recorders can interfere with how Roblox communicates. Because Roblox depends on real-time interaction between its client and the game server, any tool that interrupts this process may cause loading to fail. Disabling unnecessary extensions or overlays can make a significant difference in stability. On mobile devices, storage space and memory availability are critical. If your phone is running low on storage, Roblox may not have the space it needs to operate properly. Similarly, if too many apps are running in the background, Roblox may crash or refuse to load games. Clearing storage and closing apps helps free up resources, ensuring Roblox has the environment it needs. DNS and network configuration issues can also be a hidden culprit. Sometimes the default DNS settings provided by an internet provider are slow or unreliable, which disrupts Roblox connections. Changing to a faster, more reliable DNS service can improve stability. This adjustment is not always necessary, but for players experiencing persistent joining errors despite good internet speed, it can provide a solution. System permissions are another detail that players rarely think about. On both computers and mobile devices, apps require permission to use certain resources. If Roblox lacks the necessary permissions, it may not be able to function correctly. 
For example, restrictions on data usage or app permissions set by the operating system can silently block Roblox's ability to connect. Reviewing these permissions ensures that Roblox has the access it needs. When Roblox doesn't let you join games, it's not always about bans, cash, or bad internet. Sometimes the issue is game-specific, such as overloaded servers or developer bugs. Other times, the cause lies outside Roblox altogether, such as background applications, browser extensions, or network configuration. Device performance, storage space, and even regional restrictions can all play a role in blocking access. By recognizing these less obvious factors, players can broaden their understanding of why problems occur and find solutions beyond the usual fixes. Roblox is a flexible platform, but it relies on many moving parts. Ensuring that both the platform and the environment around it are in good condition is the best way to keep playing without interruption.